Hello, this is Paul Cramey, uh, Serious Software. This is the second video in the three video series on uh, business closing. In this uh, review, uh, the first video that we that you observed uh, was an overview of the closing process where we defined what closing means. In this second video, uh, we're going to be looking at the various setup steps that you will need to follow in order to customize the uh, uh, quick reports or the closing process to suit your preferences. In the third video, we'll look at the actual process itself for, um, for closing. In this specific video, we're going to look at the quick reports menu, and then we'll look at the uh, quick report um, customization process. Continuation of the setup steps involves looking at two different aspects of um, involving setup. First is just a review of the uh, quick reports menu, and then secondly is how to go about uh, making adjustments to those. And the way we look at the uh, closing setup procedures is to use setup and then reporting setup. And within the reporting setup, we're going to focus our attention on the reports in the quick reports. And if we expand the plus sign, while what we're seeing now are referred to as quick report groups. These are groupings of reports, and they're groupings of what are called actions that all are connected together when the, this group is executed to perform all of the related tasks. Now if we expand the plus sign here, these are the specific items, and these items consist of actions, what are called actions, the act of settling the credit card terminal, it's the act of preparing a uh, deposit slip, and then a series of reports that would be generated. So we got a financial summary, payments, uh, picked up sales, and then we come back into the an action that's referred to as a closed day. And then the final one is a list of the daily deposits, which is a report. So the quick report groups can consist of, uh, of actions, and they can consist of reports. Now, what you can do to enhance this or modify this is, number one, you can change the order of the groups. So if for whatever reason we would want to move that group ahead, we can just choose the Move Up button and then move it back. Within a group, within a quick reports group, we have the same choices. We could move this one up or we could move it down. The other thing that you can do is if you're not interested and if you don't have the, the credit card processing module, then this item, notice, it does not show on the menu. So it's there, it's part of the group. But from a day-to-day -day standpoint, it's not, uh, it's not functioning. If we wanted to turn this action off, we could do so by getting into the edit mode, removing the show on menu, and then resaving. I'm going to cancel that. The other thing that we can do is add to this group. So if there are specific reports that we would want to add, perhaps a, a, um, a WIP report. We could come up to the WIP reports and choose the summary and say that we wanted to copy that. And where do we want to copy it to? We want to copy it to the daily um, the daily closeouts. So we could say OK to that, and now that report is going to be included as a part of the daily closeout. 
and there's the report that we just added. So to quickly summarize, you can the the report groups are defined um, in the quick reports menu. Right now there are four. We can change the order of those. These individual groups consist of actions and they consist of, re of reports. You can add a report to a group. You can turn a report or an action off by taking it off of the menu. You can define additional groups. So if you wanted to create your own group for whatever purpose, you can do that. You can rearrange the groups. So there's quite a variety of things that you can do to customize and tailor to the, uh, the uh, closing process so that it more closely resembles doing those tasks, generating those reports, and doing the actions that you specifically want to do. As a recap, uh, in the first video we looked at the oh, an overview, defined what the uh, what closing means. In this video we looked at the setup steps to customize it for your personal preferences. And then in the next and last video we'll look at the actual process itself uh, for initiating and conducting a business close.